As I was just a wife wanting to get her husband and all the guys home, I don't particularly believe in feminism. Um, I think a woman can do anything she wants to do. But on the other hand, then I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Well, it was Sunday on the 20th of, of March of 1966. Unfortunately, I flew over a battalion of North Vietnamese. And when I came to in the rice paddy when I was captured, The doorbell rang, and when I opened the door, there were two naval officers standing there, and they told me that my husband had been shot down. So we had six boys. The oldest was 15, the youngest was three. We just prayed. Louise Mulligan is a military wife married to Jim Mulligan, who's one of the Alcatraz 11, the biggest troublemakers that uh, there were among the POWs. He's a big resistor. Torture guard who was there was was uh, pretty pretty rough, beating me up pretty bad and uh, roped me very tight and poured gas on my uh, on the rope. I made the decision that there was nothing I could do about my family, okay, and I had to survive. Louise equally is as equally feisty, as equally determined as her husband. Then attention focused on Louise Mulligan's role as an anti-war activist and outspoken critic. I was angry policy. with the government. She was angry that nothing was seemed to be done. Nothing was being done for the prisoners, really. The government tells the wives, keep quiet. But Louise tells it like it is. There were many differences of opinion, as you well know. She stands up and says the government is not doing enough to get their husbands out of this horrible torture situation. Nothing was being done, nothing was being helped. We was tired of being quiet. And I was the first one that called the paper and had them come out. I even called Gus Hall, head of the Communist Party. We got to the point where, you know, if you have to deal with the devil, you deal with the devil. These ladies really are human rights activists. They were very powerful political lobbyists. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the very great honor to present in this room today five of the most courageous women I have had the privilege to meet in my life. My husband received his first letter after 21 months of captivity. And they are loud, they have to be pushy, they have to be boisterous. They have to be all these things that they were taught not to be by the military. And I think Louise used capabilities that probably she never knew she had. When you're fighting for something that is so precious, you're willing to do almost anything. I called up to the White House and I said, well, are you gonna continue the bombing? He said, yes, 